Fresh. 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 Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys might be aware, last week I put together a video showing you guys the top three best ways to make money in GTA 5 online, which a bunch of you guys really enjoyed as there was at least one method in that video. All of you guys could grind out and make a ton of money in no time. However, truth be told, some of the methods in that video have been changed or they've been updated. So I thought I'd go ahead and make somewhat of an updated version to that video, seeing as so many of you guys really enjoyed it. So as always, if you guys do enjoy the video or it does help you guys out in any way, shape or form, all I ask is you guys do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, feel free to subscribe as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so coming in for the very first money maker method and that's by beating this week's brand new time trial Which can earn you guys a very nice 100k in just a couple minutes now in case you guys aren't aware yet This week's time trial is very self-explanatory All you guys simply have to do is set a waypoint to the finish line However, the most important part is to simply do as I do on screen right at the start of the time trial You want to cut straight through the Greenland and these hills Which will lead you directly onto a road that all you have to do is follow to go ahead and collect your very nice 100k now this week's time trial is very self-explanatory so i'm going to play out some music for the rest of it and i'll jump back on the mic for method two Games are also offering double money and double RP on the adversary mode known as Deadline. Now, if you guys play this adversary mode in the right way, you guys can earn easily over $150,000 from a single game alone. So I'll quickly break down how you guys can actually earn the biggest payout as of right now. Now, obviously, you guys can't play adversary mode solo, so you will need some friends to grind this method out with. You do only need one other friend to do this method that I'm going to show you in today's video, so that is a great thing. Now, maybe some of you guys don't have that many friends to actually play GTA 5 online. Do be sure to definitely leave a comment underneath this video with your gamer tag or your PSN and say willing to grind this method. You might be better off leaving whether or not you've got a mic as well, because I know certain players only like to play with other players who've got mics. Very quickly, before I actually get into the best method and how to grind this method out, as well as how to earn all the in-game bonuses, I'm going to quickly let you guys know what this game mode is all about, just in case some of you guys are watching my videos and you've never played this game mode before and you're just going to be very confused. It's very simple to understand. As you guys can see here, 
all players will basically just start on the Shatura motorbike and you'll basically leave a trail behind your motorbike which is like a laser and that will basically destroy the other enemies so the objective of the game is to get the other players to drive into that line that you leave right behind your bike so as you guys can see here I'm currently leaving the orange trail right behind where I drive because my color team is orange and my friend is leaving a purple trail as soon as I drive into his trail I'm going to lose a life or he's going to gain a point depending on how you guys set the game up which I will be explaining in just a second so as you guys can see as easy as that I drive into my friend and then I end up losing a point now there is three pickups that you guys can pick up around the map that give you guys an advantage the first one being the timer which will slow down time obviously this being such a fast paced game mode this one could be a lifesaver if you see yourself coming into a close situation you can quickly slow down the time and make a move to the left or the right the second one is the one you can see right here is the speed boost which is also pretty vital in this one just in case you guys need to get in front of your enemies and quickly cut them off to take them out i've noticed this has helped me a ton and finally we have the bunny hop pretty self-explanatory if someone drives in front of you you're able to jump straight over them so that's basically the gist of this deadline adversary mode and how it works like i said pretty straightforward and simple so now we can move straight up to the juicy stuff and how much you guys are going to be earning depending on how much you guys spend in the game as well as how to earn and all the bonuses which will make a massive difference to your final payout so first things first a lot of you guys have been earning crappy payouts from this deadline anniversary mode are going to be doing exactly what i do here on screen and this is something you guys want to avoid so most of you guys probably just start this anniversary mode you'll press start go across the online go down to jobs play job go down to rockstar created go down to adversary mode and you simply just want to select any of these deadline modes now what you guys will notice is when you actually go ahead and select one of these deadline Line adversary modes it's going to do exactly what you guys can see on screen it's going to put you into another random lobby where someone else is the host now you shouldn't need me to explain why you don't want this to happen because obviously this person doesn't know how to set the games off properly and you guys ain't going to be able to earn the most amount of money for the time that you guys actually spend on the game so as you guys can see right here i had a random level 55 who was setting up the game so the first thing the most important vital thing when you guys are grinding at this method is you can press start go across the online go down to rockstar created jobs play job you want to go down to adversary mode and then when you're over deadline what you can actually do is bookmark the job and by you bookmarking the job it'll basically allow you guys to host it every single time when you guys go across the online instead of actually starting the job directly for adversary mode what you actually want to do is go over to bookmark jobs and you'll see the bookmark jobs that you've just bookmarked there ready for you guys to host or another method would be if you guys are looking to grind out the deadline mode for a bit longer maybe a few hours or so is to press start go across to create playlist and you want to just add a few of these deadline adversary modes into a playlist because then from there you can go ahead and launch the playlist and it'll just launch each of the deadline adversary modes one after the other saving you guys time of backing out loading in the sky and all that stuff now the second and probably the most important tip that you guys want to take note of is you cannot grind this method out to the max on every single deadline map that's the reason why i thought rockstar games randomly added double money to this one because this one's the hardest to work out how to actually maximize the most amount of money so what you guys will notice is when i'm hovering over these deadline maps some of them require a minimum of two players while the majority of them require a minimum of four players so as you guys can see right here you don't want to bookmark deadline one two or three however you can do this method with deadline iv number four you can't do it with number five you can do it with number six you can do it with number seven and that is it it must be between two to four players for you guys to be able to grind this out for the most amount of money with a friend and the reason for that is so you can basically guarantee at least you and one of your friends will be taking away both 234k after playing two games because obviously there's no teams on this adversary mode it's 100 solo so if you have more players you're all going to be earning different payouts and obviously only the top two are going to be earning decent money while the other two people are just going to be wasting their time and in that time the other two people would even better off going head to head because that way one of them two would have finished first in their game or even second and definitely would have took away a minimum of 80k and as you guys can see 80k is still more than second place got by finishing in the game of four people so as you guys can see right here the game i had earlier only two of us and the second place ended up getting more than three of the other players in the bigger lobbies so you're always straight away definitely better off doing 1v1s 
whether you guys take it in turns and let you win one then your friend win one then you win one or even if you just play legit and just go head to head you're always going to be making much more money than those other guys grinding out in lobbies with four people so rockstar games can try and play smart by adding an adversary mode in that you think you can't earn a ton of money from but if you just use your brain like i showed you you can equally earn it just as good money from grinding this method as any other adversary mode now once you guys are in this part of the menu you want to make sure you have it on first to win two rounds with the round duration on 15 minutes and then from here go ahead and launch the game now if you guys end up winning a round under three minutes you're only going to receive 10k and the losers will only receive 5k if the round finishes between five and seven minutes that will jump all the way up to 16k for the winner and 8k for the losers if you guys go ahead and finish this game between eight to ten minutes that will jump up again to 20k for the winners and 10k for the losers and if you guys go ahead and finish the game between 10 and 12 minutes your payout will increase to 26k for the winner and 13k for the losers however if you guys go ahead and spend the 15 minutes in the round you guys will be receiving the max 40k per round as well as a very nice 20k for the loser now of course rockstar games have changed this adversary mode so the max we can go up to is the first to win two rounds whereas the previous one overtime rumble was the first to win four rounds so if i go ahead and win two rounds in this game and lose one round i'll be receiving 40k for each round taking my total to 80 plus the losers payout of 20k taking my total income to a nice 100,000 per game yet you guys might be thinking how the hell was my payout at 154 at the start of the game and that's because i went ahead and earned something called the winner's round bonus and as you guys could tell after a few games this will make a massive difference to the money you guys will be earning in the long term from grinding this method and it's very simple to do so because there isn't too many rounds on this new adversary mode like i said it's the first to win two rounds what you guys want to go ahead and do is either go ahead and play against a noob so you can just let him win the first round like go afk so you get 20k and then you go ahead and win the next two rounds so you're winning them back to back in other words one after the other you guys will be receiving an extra fifty-four thousand dollars for doing so so as you guys can see here i just went ahead and let my friend beat me in the first round and then i started to play properly in the second round went ahead and won the second round got my 40k he got his 20k we drawed up one round each i went ahead and won the next round after this which would bag me another 40k but instead of receiving a hundred thousand dollars boys 154k as well as an insane 15,000 rp however coming in for the third and final best money maker method and personally my favorite method to be grinding out and that is the double money and double rp that rockstar games are currently offering on all of the ceo vip work and challenges now if you guys aren't aware there's only a few works and challenges you guys want to go ahead and waste your time on the first and the best work by far to do is called headhunter if you guys aren't aware just simply call out a buzzard a helicopter a karuma any armored vehicle and you guys can beat this work easily under five minutes it takes me typically two and a half minutes but this will bag you guys a very nice 41k every single time and the best part is the targets pretty much spawn at the same locations every single time so once you guys have played it two or three times you'll know exactly where to go and honestly smash this one straight out the park as you guys can see on screen i was able to beat this one in under two minutes so i think we can all agree 40k for under two minutes of work is extremely good now another work you guys want to go ahead and try out is sightseer once again compared to all the other work and the time and effort it takes to beat this you guys have definitely got to go ahead and grind this out you'll easily earn over 50k and all you have to do is simply go ahead and collect three different packages that you will reveal by completing three different mini games as you guys can see on screen here's an example of one mini game so once you guys complete that you go ahead collect the packages and as you guys can see you will earn a very nice fifty thousand dollars and finally if you guys are more on the lazy side of wanting to make money there is one final work that you guys can try out it is called executive search which just basically requires you guys to stay inside of an area for 10 minutes so it can drag on quite a bit and of course you guys can't rush it up like you can with headhunter or sightseer but equally if you guys are going to have your dinner you're watching a movie in the background you can easily grind out executive search without touching your control pad and once again will also pay you guys a very nice fifty thousand dollars now if you guys aren't aware there is like a small cooldown period of two to five minutes between each work so in that time 
online it completely comes down to you and what type of player you guys are in gta 5 online me personally i would go ahead and grind a challenge like most wanted or an mc challenge like ripping it up if you guys own a vehicle warehouse you can go ahead sell a vehicle quickly or if you own a business go ahead and sell a product so it's completely up to you but the main thing is to keep on grinding headhunter and sightseer in between any other work that you guys would typically grind and honestly you guys will see the millions piling up very very quickly and nonetheless that is going to do it for me guys the top three best money maker methods to grind out as of right now if this video has helped you guys out in any way shape or form and you would like to keep up to date with the latest gta 5 methods feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and if this video has helped you out in any way shape or form and you do support the channel all i ask is you do return the favor by smashing that like button down below and nonetheless that's gonna do it for me guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in my next video peace